Hey guys, we're out here and it is at the very tail end of rainy season and runoff season. So this river right here that we're on normally flows at about four to six cubic meters per second uh, this time of year. And you can times that by 35 to get CFS. And we did something, we, we came out here in our little raft, our little 12 foot six Odyssey from 24 year old <laughs> boat that we got. Yeah, long time ago, right after we got married. <laughs> yeah. And we're both just coming over, uh, getting, uh, haven't been sick for the last three weeks. Uh, uh, we decided to get the boat out and just go for a floaty float on a river that's you know, three, four times its normal flow. Um, and w we moved a lot of fish and we want to share how we did and what we did today. Yeah, exactly. You know, guys, we actually got a grand slam. We got a bull trout, we got a bunch of rainbows, we got cutthroat. And you got a couple of And I browns. got a couple browns, so yeah. that's pretty cool, you know? Yeah, and at the start of the day on this river is the upper section is a bit more of a canyon, fast water pockets with some ledges, real fun stuff to raft. And in that water, what we were fishing is just kind of an autumn splendor streamer with a gold tungsten um, bead at the front. And, but look at that big wavy marabou tail. And behind that, about 18 inches, we had a uh, black woolly bugger yeah. with another tungsten bead. And that served us really well in that fast water pocket stuff up at the top. But as we got down into the lower part of the river uh, where it was a little bit deeper pockets and slower pockets, this fly's parachute, see that tail? That parachuted in the water and kept the flies, the two fly system from dropping. So what we did, we went to an eighth ounce jig head, white kind of wool, double woolly bugger, Franken bugger, <laughs> and put the black woolly bugger in behind it. And the second we did that, it really drop shot into those pockets and you could jig it, jig it, and that's instantly, hey, it was like, absolutely. you turned the switch and... You could move the fish, and that's exactly what we did, guys. And, you know, it was a situation where you didn't want to put a lot, too many twitches into it. It was kind of hit that spot, hit that calm water, you know, the scene lines that we always talk about where trout have got a hold when you've got a big push of water and just pop it in there and you know get a couple twitches and then pick up pretty pretty much and cast again and yeah we were getting we we're getting a f quite a few fish just doing that definitely and our setup today was just a five weight uh, rod uh fly rod uh with a double no this is a weight forward line no, this is a double nope, taper line, double taper. but we shortened the leader back to about nine foot, eight foot on 2X with 2X in between the flies. Now, we wouldn't do this at any other flow rate. It had rained three weeks straight at that peak of mountain snow melt. We drove the length of this river over the weekend nice water. and saw little angling traffic, so we decided to get the weed raft out. At three to four times normal flows for late June, there was little risk of impacting any other anglers. The water was simply too high and off color to get around to wade. And it was a weekday. This video is just trying to jog us all that those little rivers that we think are walk and wade only, well, in runoff season when nobody is able to wade them, why not get a little boat out and just enjoy the river from a different perspective? It's not all about big fish, it's about enjoying time on the water. Fly fishing isn't hard. A pair of woolly bugger kind of flies on floating lines will do. If you pay attention to the pockets where we move fish, you'll realize where high water fish tend to congregate to avoid the push of heavy flows, and you'll likely move and catch a lot of trout. Well, let's do this, hey? There you go. Awesome. Hop on. It's all about the one cast to the spot. Yeah. Oh, in, anybody? Come on, right along that stuff. Oh, I would have thought. Oh, oh, oh. oh. no. Wow, but I don't know if it was big because I again didn't feel a damn thing. It's really cool, isn't it? What a great river. Whole pile of pockets. Okay, 
can go on ahead of the boat. Man. Right to the back there. Come on, fish. Someone's got to be holding in that. Okay, head of the boat. Nice spot. Oh, yeah, oh, there yeah. he is. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Like too, kind of does to me. Yeah. A little chunkier. That's cool. Obvious pocket for him. Yeah. On the big one, eh? Yeah, that's neat. I'll turn it down. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm fine. Great. How well, gorgeous is that, that nose? There. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Cool. I think that's full on cut Beautiful. throat, actually. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah. Well, that's cool, guys. <laughs> Beautiful cutthroat out of this pocket. And this is the water. You got to find that slack stuff wherever there's boulders, gorgeous seams, and just pop pop those streamers through there. I'm gonna hold you through this, I'll give you that, and then I'm gonna bring you across the front of that log jam. Perfect. Yeah, nice pocket. Yeah, great looking water. No follows, yeah. Okay, that's it for there. So I'm just coming across, love. Okay, great. See where I'm going. Yeah. I sure do. It's going to be a dropsy doodle. Yeah. So it makes this fun. <laughs> yeah, man. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that on a summer day. Yeah. Yeah, hey, good call. Yep, gonna go right up. Yep. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. And get that in tight. Yeah. Right in there. So I'll reach down and I'll get you in that foam just below the rock. Okay. Great. Oh. Yeah. There's a fish. <laughs> Little guy yeah. playing with my bugger. <laughs> One more go. Up. Yeah. Right off those boulders. Okay. Yeah. Don't see one as yet. Uh oh shit. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. strip, strip, strip. <laughs> I thought I was hung briefly. Yeah. That's called heavy water for you. That's awesome. Right on, man. It's a nicer bow, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a rainbow. As soon as that cut, you got it. Yeah, pretty much, right? Yeah, another pretty fish, guys. Woo! Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 there he is, there he is. <laughs> Both saw the flash, yeah. eh? That was awesome. I'm going to swing wide on this. Sure. And I'm going to go like this. Great. I'm going to flip him. Flat rock, eh? But yeah. maybe in there. Got for a back cast. Right right yeah, I'm just checking my back cast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. Yet. That's it. That's there it. Go. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. That 
was something as I was pulling up. Yeah. Play it along that seam again, just cause. Yeah, there we are. There you go. Yeah. That little guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious, eh? Amazing. He's actually not that little. Another cut. Wow, eh? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, I just saw that stick. Oh, 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 got lucky. Come on, one more in there. Yeah, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we are. Had to be one there. Absolutely. That feels a little better. Nah, about the same. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, though. It is. Had to be one. Come on, surf them up. Nice rainbow, guys. A little longer. Beautiful. Okay. Try this again. Yeah. You'd think there'd be one right here. Lots of nice rock, boy. <laughs> it's fast. <laughs> Right there. Sit down a little bit. Oh, wow. What? Oh, there he was. I bet he broke me off. No, he didn't. He absolutely slammed the black woolly bugger. Okay. No, it's okay. There he is. Oh, off he goes. Such nice water. Somebody knows into that shelf would be nice. If not, how about up in here? It's all flat rock though. But well, should be here still. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. I'm just Yeah. Right off the shelf, you'd think somebody would come off the bottom here. Will anything eat the white bugger today? Yeah. It's one of my least favorite things. There he was, big, big rainbow on the white. Yeah. There he is. There's a different fish. Oh, on the black. Yeah. There we go. That was not the same fish. Funny, eh? The pockets. It's always the pockets all day. Yeah. That, yeah. That quarter ounce. That quarter ounce head is important. Come on now. There he is. On the white. Just get it down. Get it down and your cutthroat trout will follow. Hey. Now I gotta do this. Going on? One. And then another one. One more in there. There he is. Yeah. So, well, it's depth, hey? We finally got down. We finally got down with this jig head. On 2X. Yeah, there you go. There you go, guys. Awesome. The difference is all in the deeper water with the big quarter eighth ounce jig head. And now we're starting to see what's actually here. We're at the right depth. That in the, light, I think, makes a difference. It does. In this water clarity. Yeah. There, oh, there's another one. Saw a big flash on that one. Oh, there he was. I was waiting for that flash. Yeah. It's definitely waiting for the flash. Depth, 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 depth. Oh, 
Oh, come on, eat it. That was another 16, 17 inch rainbow. Nice. Even if it was 15, who cares? It's all depth. Okay. Let's get into the deeper stuff here. Just let me bring it off this drop off zone right in here. Oh yeah, I see what you're looking at, Jeepers. Listen to your guide, Dave. There he was. I saw him just as I was lifting. I looked behind myself to look just as I was lifting the cast. And this guy came up. There we go. Wicked. Oh, right to the boat. Yeah. Yeah. I like this right across the front is what I like. I don't like going into the back. I like playing the drop off of the front. Ho oh, ho. Yeah, another nice fish chasing that white thing. It's all about depth. There he is. Another fish. Yeah. Oh, cutthroat. Yeah. Yeah, that peach corally peach kind of. Yeah. So distinctive of cuts, eh? Oh yeah, that was a hit. Good hit. I'm just gonna hold off for now. Yeah. Oh, there goes the merganser. Right in front of the boat. Hey. Yeah. Hey, Mark. The viz is pretty good, you know? It really is. You can really see that top fly quite well. Anything charging after that. Yeah, you know? Oh yeah, that was a tap. Oh, he followed you again there. Did he? As you I gotcha. Hard to know, you know, you want to be deeper. I'm letting them sink a bit longer. Just let, fluttering them through. But in front of that boulder. Oh yeah, that was a good hit. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just it. Oh, yeah, there we are. There, oh, there he was. I think that was actually on the black. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we are. Okay, that was a different tactic, guys. Whoa, did you see that? I decided to literally pop that in there like that and just then do one twitch, let it drift one twitch. I think maybe I've been doing a little too much fluttering prior to this. Okay. Just one solid twitch and let it drift. Give maybe giving the fish a bit more of a chance to actually eat it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So again. Yeah. Yeah, I like that tactic. I'm seeing exactly. Okay. It does. It sure Ball is. Throw. Oh, hey, cool. We're going for the slam today, man. That's awesome. Nice. Beautiful bully, you guys. Ah, uh, such nice water. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, oh, nice. Fish, it is, it is a good. Oh, oh he's off. Guys. That's cool. That's awesome. That was excellent, though. On the black again, eh? Yeah. And it was right off that bank in this kind of... Oh, there he is. Yeah. Okay. That's cool, guys. So oh, definitely the right water. Slam the water and then a couple twitches upstream, but it definitely is certain water. There's no yeah. doubt about that. Way steep. Yeah. Do you find value in our free sharing of knowledge and experience and want to support us? 
Gain access to our extended length ad-free videos as well as our in-depth producer's notes that turn every video into an in-depth fly fishing class. Join our Patreon group today.